Testing. Okay. All right. Here we go. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force and the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fisher to breach the accursed land, but none have returned. Pure of the Twin Fangs, yet the silent chief, Saint Urbain, Skurva the Wanderer, the sixth Saint Astria with her knight Gaal Vinland, and Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? <sighs> Yeah, I guess. Brave soul who fears not death. 
I shall guide you to the fissure. Hey, Draymond. Or is it Drama? I don't know. Old one back to slumber. It's an L. Oh, hey, there's a phantom. I am. I'm doing all right. Oh, great, there's a bot. Yeah. Yeah, so for this stream, I'm probably just going to get through the tutorial and then the next, like, the first area in the game. Because I forgot that I'm online. Means that I will probably get invaded. Although, I don't know, because this game, the uh, player base has shrunk in a lot. Because Elden Ring came out. What I might do then, actually, now that I think about it, is I might just finish the first area and then go offline for like a couple minutes, maybe get something to drink or something, and then come back and just make sure that I don't log in fully so that I won't have to worry about getting invaded, because people in this community tend to be pretty toxic with invasions. And that would ruin my no death run that I plan on doing. And we can't have that. Alright, here's the boss that I'm totally actually gonna fight, not just stand so it hits me. Oh look, I'm fighting the boss. I've never actually beaten this boss, so if I beat it, it'll be like the first time I do it.
I have never beaten this boss. Holy shit. The ones in the time that I actually joke that I'm not that I'm not gonna try and beat it, I actually fucking beat it. Jesus. Unknown eaters. I've never actually been here, so this is gonna be interesting. Oh, it's the dragon god. Good. More full moon grass. What is that item up here? This is weird. I've never been. Sharp stone, some souls, soul. Okay, now I remember hearing that there's an item here that's like a reference to the original. If anyone's here, I'm just looking up how to get an item. Because I missed. I think I may have missed it. Looks like it. Here it is. Now, for those of you who played the original Demon Souls, this is the like original Iron Helmet, the one that appeared in the original. Of course, it comes on the character where I'm not going to use it, so that's fun. But yeah, it was nice that I actually beat the Vanguard team, because I've never actually done that. Yeah, and another thing that's good is that this death that I'm about I'm about to die, but this won't actually count towards like no deaths. Withdrawn 
come from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. All right. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the Scubs came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself. Here, in this nexus, my wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. All right. Yeah, so this is Stockpile Thomas. He's the uh, guy who, like, keeps all your stuff because in Demon Souls you actually have weight limits. So, Rest assured, your goods are safe and sound with me. Best of luck to you. Yeah, and we like Stockpile Thomas. He's a good guy. Over here we have the blacksmith Baldwin. Mm, new here. Are you here for my services? The name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. <laughs> with your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? So we'll repair that, and then we'll upgrade it to plus one. So give us a you come back alive. boost in damage. All right, so now it's time for the first area. You may notice our health is in half, and that's because I'm in what's called soul form here. Earlier I was in body form, which there's advantages to both and disadvantages to both. But in soul form, you cannot be invaded, but your health is at half. And if you die in soul form, it doesn't affect the world tendency at all. In body form, you have full health, but... You can be invaded, and if you die, it kind of messes with the world tendency a bit. 
which will make the game harder. So we're just going to go up here, there's two guys right here. Thankfully our plus one halberd does a lot better this time. Here. So what do we do? Ooh, nice. That's gonna help with the boss that firebomb is. And we got some pine resin, which is also gonna help. Now that item is a ring that will decrease the amount that our health is cut in by in soul form. So we'll have 75% of our health instead of only half. Which will be nice. So we're gonna like our main priority here is getting that. Because as you can see, we don't have very much health. Actually, hang on. Okay, there we go. what the message is. <laughs> Alright, what do we... Ah, shit, their shield. Right, get some more fire bombs. And then we have two soldiers around the corner. Alright, another fire bomb. And another fire bomb. here then that's a weapon down there but I don't need that because it's just a dagger That's the bastard sword, which is a great sword, which I might use a little bit, although I don't think so. Nah, because I've already upgraded my halberd. But the weapon we're going to be using for the most part in this run is the uh, Murden hammer. Great big hammer that, or not a, it's like, it's kind of like the halberd, but it does blunt damage instead of just regular damage, which is really good, I should specify. It also staggers just about everything it hits, which is, again, very good. I'm not sure how you missed that shot, but okay. Now, over there, you can kind of see him. He has the red eyes. There, he's, like, right above the point of my helmet. He's That's a red-eyed knight who's, like, a really tough enemy. We'll be dealing with him a bit later on, but for now, we're just going to leave him be. And we have a blue eye knight here. Alright, 
So then we're going to go down this tower and get the cling ring, is what it's called. The ring that reduces our HP reduction. First, we get to watch these guys kill themselves. Here is some chains we can cut that release some bodies. You can actually hear them hit the ground. But that, unfortunately, you may remember Stockpile Thomas from the Nexus. That's his wife and daughter. So his daughter has a hair ornament that we're going to give to him. Because we're nice people. went way better than I expected. What's good about having so little health is that Crescent Moongrass actually will restore most of your health. And here it is, the Queen Ring. So as you can see, that reduced our HP. What is it? Uh, reduction. And yeah, there's the hair ornament. So we'll give that to Stockpile Thomas once we get back to the Nexus. And then there's another ring that we're going to pick up in here. In this area called the Ring of Great Strength, which increases how much we can carry. Which will mean that I won't have to level up my endurance so high in order to wear this armor. I am still going to have to level it up before I can fast roll, but it won't be nearly as much. I think it's at thir yeah, it's at 13. I have to get it to 27 with the ring before I can fast roll. But that's we'll be fine. Down there is a Strava, but we're going to come back for him. Crescent Moon Grass. Now we got a knight to deal with. One grass, that's good. <laughs> and then we have the trap. There's a bunch of enemies down there that these uh, boulders are going to kill. But it's clear we can go. Now the ring that we're going to get is right where that blue dragon is. So over there. 
We can see them. We're going to have to go over there, but there's a way we can do it that's pretty easy. Although I am going to have to remove some stuff, though. Careful here. Now the, another dragon's going to come and burn this bridge. So we're going to sit here and wait for it to start and we're going to sprint back to where the other dragon is. Here and there's two more items that we're gonna get. One's the art stone shard, which lets us go back to the Nexus, I guess in like an emergency scenario. And then the other one's some more full movements. Which is like a higher level healing supply. But you don't need that, so. Now we're gonna get rid of that ring and put the ring of great strength on. That'll allow us to wear the chest armor as well. boss fight. It's gonna allow us to go back to the Nexus. This guy, kill that guy, all back here because there's some pine resin, which is going to be very useful for that boss fight. Okay. 
Thank you. Actually, yeah, let's put our armor back on. Because we need all the protection we can get right now. Yes, more hearts. That's good. Yeah, so after I beat the boss, I'm probably just going to do a bunch of grinding to get, like, upgrade materials and souls, so... I'm not going to lie, the first stream or so is probably this first stream, and maybe a little bit of the next one. It's probably going to be pretty boring, if I'm being honest. Boss. All right, let's go. Using our fire bombs, we're gonna blow a hole in the, all the top lights, I think is what they're called, that are guarding this guy. Because we can't do any damage until they're on. So three turns. Just like that, we're back in body form. So. Oh, man, I was hoping we'd get all hard stun shards, but that's okay. So, now we're gonna use all the demon souls that we got. And that'll give us a pretty good amount. So I'm gonna go back here. We're gonna level up, and then we're and then I'm gonna pause the stream so I can go do some stuff. Welcome back. And then we're gonna continue. The monumental awaits the above. to thee. Alright. So we're going to go up and see the monumental, then we're going to come back and level up. And then after that, we're going to take a little break, and then we're going to get to grinding, because... Oh boy, we're going to be grinding a lot these first couple of streams. Okay, so he's out here. Wait, where am I going? 
this is the best one. We have long awaited you, slayer of demons. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is a tale I wish to tell you. Once, we too were a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the old one. Across the land seeped a colorless, deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to its slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and most of the world, lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six leaders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet industrious land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman. It's going to be an shaman. Elden Ring reference. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. Well. The archstones were placed in the fringe lands that survived. We contained the old one here below the nexus and prohibited the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals. Half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. Yay. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, a deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to bear this burden? Yes. Yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. Alright, so now we can go level up. And then I'm gonna pause the stream for a bit and then we're gonna come back and grind. Vagabond souls become thine own. Soul of the mind, 
everything into it. Oh shit, we only need two more levels. Okay, so we're gonna pause for a bit.